Welcome back to the channel, folks. Today is the third day that we're testing out this phase runner setup, 72 volts, on our Super 73 RX. So in today's settings, believe it or not, we're actually, um, I talked to my buddy and he said that um, the stock motor is capable of 3,000 watts comfortably. So I've been testing around in the living room, you know, without weight and I, uh, I kept pushing it, I kept pushing it. Today's settings is actually up to 4,000 watts. So today we're running 50 amp on this on the phase runner settings and 4,000 watts. Um, hopefully all goes well. <laughs> um, this is, I guess it's a gutsy thing to do. Make sure if you're trying this, you don't have warranty anymore or depending on how you feel, maybe you should have warranty, but I don't have any warranty on this stock motor. Just to look at the setup, obviously it's a stock motor. It's supposed to be 2000 watts peak. It should be a hang tie brand, um, China brand that Super 73 uses. Phase runner down there. Right now it's just mounted here and it's a 72 volt 20 amp battery. But this is what we're experimenting with today. So without further ado, let's try to beat 38 miles per hour from our testing experiment yesterday. Our numbers was um, actually it was it was 70 amp, but it was um, 2,000 watt was the power limit. So um, I'm just playing around here. So we're gonna push push a little further here. I could see the controller heating up a little bit, but not too hot. All right, and I got my miles per hour um, speedometer fixed now. I just had to fix the pole pairs. All right, we're trying to beat 38 miles per hour today. Let's get it. Oh, we were about to fly off of there. The only way to try to beat the miles per hour is we really need to go to uh, some main streets here. A residential is not gonna be enough. So off the line, it feels like a regular Super 73. Um, but that's because my amp, I, I pushed it down because I, I want a gradual uh, increase. I'm more interested right now in the top speed versus the torque. Once it passed uh, 33 miles per hour, it's around uh, 1900 watts right now. And again, we set it up so that it's 2000 watts. Yo, go. Jesus Christ. I had a green light forever. Uh, build it, tune it, EV YouTuber. I'm sure he got it 50 miles per hour, but he's really, really ballsy and pushing it um, maybe past 5,000 watt, if I had to guess. Not entirely sure. But here we are doing the same kind of experiment. So today's experiment is two things. Can we beat 38 miles per hour? And is it recommendable in our city traffic here? I just hope we can, you know, uh, get up to 40 miles per hour-ish. Uh, without weight, it was going up to 49 miles per hour without weight. In my uh, living room, testing the, uh, the phase runner settings. There's so much to, to test around to see if there's any faults. I wasn't any receiving any faults. Um, but today, with my weight on it, I'm 155 pounds. We'll see. Um, we'll see what kind of results we can get. Hopefully, I don't burn out this motor, please. Hopefully, I don't. Uh, but the good thing is, um, Super 73 motors are pretty cheap now. Used. All right, this is a good straightaway. Let's punch it. Cut me off, guys. Showing
going 35 miles per hour. 36. That thing says 36, 37. I'm going over 2K watts now. Let's get a speed tuck here. 38, that's our top speed yesterday. We're going over 2300 watts. 39 miles per hour. Okay. 40 miles per hour, all right. Still around 2300 watts of power from what I'm seeing. All right, it looks like we're locked in at 40. And we're kind of keeping up with this white van here. We get a little bit of more of a speed tuck. All right. Well, um, that's the end of the road, but I think we're, we were pretty much locked at 40 miles per hour. And it wasn't going any higher than 2300 watts. Maybe that's a good thing. Not too warm. The phase runner is actually warmer. Um, it says here, I actually have a temperature of the phase runner, um, 54 Celsius pretty much. That's somewhat warm, but I've seen it warmer yesterday actually. Man, I'm not even really gonna push much further than that because I don't wanna uh, burn out the motor. I just wanna see its limits. We fix this to 20, uh, 20 inch, go with six pole pairs. That'll give you a, about accurate um, miles per hour now. I, I didn't have that yesterday. All right, I know this is a fast road and off the line, this bike is really slow. Um, so is this something I can recommend long term? Um, if you're okay with those results, um, take off the slow or top speed is 40, but it gets there pretty, pretty long. It took a good while. It took like a whole block to get there to 40 miles per hour. If you're okay with those numbers. And like, let's say you have a controller issue, you need a new one instead of buying one there, maybe if you're considering the phase runner. Maybe it is, maybe it ain't. I'm not entirely sure. That's probably your call. Um, but at least in this experiment today, we've shown what it's um, capable of, um, at least for that stretch of three miles. Um, I actually wanted to try um, Wendy's. There's supposed to be a Wendy's here. I'm craving their, their breakfast, uh, French toast breakfast. My friend said he was comfortably running it at 3,000 watts, so I, I, I gotta talk to him more about it, but I don't know. Here's Wendy's. They have a drive through that's what I'm craving, the home-style French toast sticks. Let's go in the drive through because obviously we have our bike. All right, all right. Place an order. They didn't have an issue on a Super 73. Now there's like a, there's this next upgrade, right, that I'm pondering about. The most people get that expensive upgrade from that, I forgot that website, whatever that website is with the enclosure. It's like a, a few thousand dollars more and stuff like that. Hello. Thank you. Something like that, like honestly, I, I that's why we have an Onyx. I'm not comfortable. Thank you. Like with these really fat tires on this Super 73, it feels really uncomfortable. Um, like going that fast. Feels like it's not made for it, obviously. All right. Just stuff that in there. It reminds me of a little bit of our childhood. I used to, we used to have that all the time. Those French toast sticks, but then we grew up and then it kind of got away from it. I don't know, comment below what you think, but I just like experimenting with things we already have. That Super 7372 volt upgrade is 
just way too much. Now, actually, I'm gonna put this back to the uh, the setup back on the aerial rider. I'll give that a try. I have the Rumble Air that I, frame that I could put this on, and I have the X Class 52 volt that I can put put this setup on as well. Uh, yeah, ultimately, I think I'm gonna be. Yeah, putting this back to stock um, because, I don't know, 40 miles per hour and it gets there really long. I'm gutsy enough to test experiments and limits, but I was really um, afraid that, that I might burn out the motor. No one behind us. It's a good straightaway here. now. Looks like we're locked at 42 miles per hour, 2,500 watts. And we gotta slow down. There's like a, a little bit of a slope down there. Um, I couldn't really, yeah, that's kind of exactly what I felt yes, like yesterday too. So like I can't really call that, you know, at top speed. I'm still going to call it at, I'm still going to call it at 40 miles per hour. Yeah, so the next step if I, if I wanted to continue with this setup is um, I definitely would change out the tires to something a little bit thinner. You know, four and a half inch tires in the rear seems just feels too too thick going that fast. And it's a it's an e-bike. It's not a it's not necessarily a um, motorcycle. So like I'm sure it's not rated to go 40 miles per hour. So it's basically like moped speeds. That's going to be today's video, folks. Thank you for tuning in. Stick around for more experiment and e-bike adventures. Like and subscribe for more content. Check out the useful links in the description below for additional discounts. This is e-bike adventure signing out. See you guys in the next run. Peace.